Hello, welcome to another episode of Cool Stuff with Kyle. I'm a big Star Wars fan, so I'd like to show you guys some Star Wars items I have in my collection. Particularly, I'd like to show you the Star Wars The Black Series action figures that I have. I've got quite a, quite a few of them. And uh, they come in 3.75 inch scale, and they come in 6 inch scale. What I collect is the 6 inch scale. Kind of a weird way to scale things, but I think it's basically like 112 scale, so you've got um, like if somebody was about six feet tall, then they'd be about six inches high in this scale. So I, I believe that's essentially what it is. Um, so let's uh, take a look at some of the things I have here in my collection. First off, we have this Rancor, and it's it's huge. It's got these uh, big claw hands here. It's got this um, cuff, so it could be chained up. And um, we'll take a look at it from the side here, the tail back here, this cool like spiky armor that he's got. Um, and then uh, of course the mouth, let's pick this up so we can take a look here at the mouth. Now this guy, he came in a kit, I think that was called um, Jabba's Rancor Pit. Uh, with some other characters and stuff. I just have the Rancor that I bought by itself. But he's pretty neat. And I also have some figures that are still in the package. Like this one. This is George Lucas in a Stormtrooper disguise. They made a version of George Lucas in a Stormtrooper disguise a long time ago with the original, uh, like, real tiny uh, Star Wars figures that came out with the movies and everything. And this is kind of a modern uh, homage to that that's in this uh, six inch scale Star Wars The Black series. It's pretty cool. And here we've got Grand Moff Tarkin. And he's got that um, like interrogation droid thing there with him. This is Princess Leia Organa. It says Boosh because when she wore this bounty hunter disguise, when she went to rescue Han Solo from Jabba the Hutt, um, this uh, disguise she was wearing was, it was from a uh, bounty hunter named Boosh. This one's a really cool set. I, I really like this one in the box because it displays with Luke hanging upside down like he was in The Empire Strikes Back uh, when he was in the, um, the cave with the Wampa here. So you got the Wampa creature and you got Luke and his, uh, his lightsaber and his blaster in there. But it's kind of cool the way it displays in this box. Here's some more in-the-box figures I have. This is Mace Windu, of course, from the prequel trilogy. He was played by Samuel L. Jackson, and he had this purple lightsaber that nobody else had. That's really cool. And then we have here... Obi-Wan Kenobi. With his lightsaber, which of course was blue. This is the younger... Obi-Wan. And then we have from the uh, sequel trilogy, of course, Captain Phasma. Pretty cool with the silver Stormtrooper outfit that, you know, typical Stormtroopers didn't have. She was a pretty neat character, I thought. And then I've got all my characters in my display cabinets. That was director Krennic from Rogue One. There's Captain Phasma again. She's actually not a Black Series figure. She's a little bit bigger. And um, she's a, an Art FX figure. So she, she's pretty cool looking. But that's the only one of those that I have. And then this, this guy, he was one of the bounty hunters that appeared in um, The Empire Strikes Back when... Darth Vader was trying to hire all the bounty hunters. This is, I believe his name is Bosk, this lizard guy. And I've got other ones uh, of the bounty hunters as well. This one is IG-11, um, or no, 88. Let's see. 
I believe IG-11 is the one that's in the Mandalorian. Um, and he's got like two bandoliers. This guy only has the one bandolier. So he's the original uh, from The Empire Strikes Back. I believe that's IG-88. And uh, we also have... This was one of the bounty hunters and, and this one. Um, one of them is named uh, Zuckus. And the other one is Forlom. I think this is Forlom, and this is Zuckus, if I remember right. This is one of the Death Squad troopers, or Death Troopers, um, like the Elite Force uh, Stormtroopers. That was from Rogue One. We've got a Snow Trooper here. And then we've got the Imperial Royal Guard. Here we have this uh, Imperial Flame Trooper with a a flamethrower backpack. This one here, I think it was like a like one of the new stormtroopers from like the Force Awakens or snow troopers from the Force Awakens. This is a a stormtrooper. I think uh, that's one of the new uh, series uh, stormtroopers. There, there's a scout trooper. I think they might have first appeared in the Empire Strikes Back, if I remember right. They were the guys that like rode on those bikes, those speeder bikes. Of course, we have the very famous Boba Fett here with his uh, rocket pack and everything. Pretty cool. We have Darth Maul with his double bladed lightsaber. His binoculars that he had there um, in his appearance in The Phantom Menace. Down here, this is Dengar. Uh, he was one, another one of the bounty hunters that was there in The Empire Strikes Back. This is Cassian Andor from, sorry about the light here, uh, from Rogue One. And then Jin Erso from Rogue One. We have, of course, Admiral Akbar. It's a trap! We have Yoda. We have Anakin Skywalker before he became Darth Vader. Lando Calrissian wearing his cape. Here we have a rebel pilot Luke Skywalker. This guy for some reason, I can't remember his name at the moment. He was the uh, the big droid guy in Rogue One. We have Qui-Gon Jinn there from Episode One. He trained Obi-Wan Kenobi. Here we have the Mandalorian before he got his uh, all of his Beskar armor. He's just got like the Beskar helmet. And of course, his name we know now is Din Djarin. And here's the child before he was named Grogu. And he comes with this little frog and like the soup bowl and the little ball uh, that he kept playing with in the ship. And we have this cool set with this, uh, this ice display. This is Kylo Ren and Rey from The Force Awakens and the, uh, you know, the sequ sequel trilogy. And then I have this little one in the back that's, you know, one of the, it's not the Black Series, it's Power of the Force and an older thing, but it's the uh, Leia in the uh, prisoner or slave costume there. Then here we have a First Order Stormtrooper from the sequel trilogy. Comes with this, um, like, riot baton thing and a shield. And then this, this is cool because... These were the original uh, 12 figures that uh, they released with the Star Wars movie, but this is, you know, the modern versions of them in the 6-inch scale. And then I also have, uh, in addition to that, uh, this is R5-D4. He was the droid that uh, didn't end up getting picked in the beginning in the first Star Wars movie. Um, R2-D2, of course, ended up going to uh, 
Luke's family farm. But we have C-3PO, we have a uh, sand person, we have Han Solo, Princess Leia. This, uh, I think they called him like a Death Star, or Death Squad trooper, or Death Squad commander, or something like that. Uh, Chewbacca, of course, he's much taller than everyone else. Luke Skywalker. Got a Stormtrooper. Darth Vader, one of my favorite characters, because he's just awesome. And we had R2-D2 and R5-D4. Got a Jawa there. And we have Obi-Wan Kenobi. And down here, we have General Grievous from the prequel trilogy with his four lightsabers. He's pretty awesome. Here we have Luke with Yoda on his back doing the Jedi training on Dagobah. Here we have Supreme Leader Snoke on his throne from the sequel trilogy. And we have Rey from the sequel trilogy and with her um, desert garb there and um, this uh, speeder that she had when she was going out and collecting all the junk parts and stuff at the beginning of the movie. And back there in the back we have Han Solo riding on a Tauntaun from The Empire Strikes Back from the ice planet Hoth where they had the Tauntauns they would ride out on. And we have here a stormtrooper on a creature that's called a dewback. Thank you for watching this episode of Cool Stuff with Kyle. I hope you enjoyed seeing the Star Wars figures in my collection. Remember, until next time, the world is full of cool stuff. Go out and find some. Thank you.